Oh my goodness, O'Neal Cruz. You dirty fucking dog, you. Yo, what's going on everybody? In today's video, we're gonna be using the supercharged future stars, O'Neal Cruz. If you don't know, O'Neal Cruz hits an absolute missile and recorded the fastest exit velocity in the StatCast era at 122.4 miles per hour. It was a 360 foot single. That's already hit it. Hit it off that big wall in right field in uh, Pittsburgh. That's why I didn't get out, but it was an absolute missile. You know, 122.4 is the fastest in the StatCast era. Beats Stannon's uh, previous fast is at 121.7. So by 0.7, this guy's insane, man. And he's a shortstop, just insane. We'll take a look at his card. It is in, it is, it is him. It is him. But before we look at him, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on. Leave a like on the video in the comment section below. Let me know if you're gonna be using this O'Neill Cruz while he is supercharged. Lastly, make sure you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. All three links will be in the description below. So give me a follow on three platforms. I would highly appreciate if you did. And make sure you go check out my shorts channel on YouTube, pitching underscore rebel shorts. The link to that channel will be in the description below. So go over to that channel, hit the subscribe button, it's completely free, okay? All right, let's go ahead and look at O'Neal Cruz, baby. So O'Neal Cruz, future stars, you know, primary shortstop, third base secondary, left-handed hitter. However, supercharged now. The, dude, the man's got 125 across the board. Contact versus both. Power versus both at 125. And the Vision even got a boost up to 99. I'm excited to use this card. Um, we're going to be playing at shortstop. He's going to be leading off, of course. He's got that 99 speed as well. This guy is literally a created player. I don't even know what else to say. Let's just get into this video. I'm ready, I'm ready to use him. Nightmares X. He's uh, got Corbin Burns in the bump. We're going to have our opener in C-Sheck on the bump. He also has O'Neal Cruz in the lineup and leading off just like us. Hopefully his O'Neal Cruz does no damage to us oh my okay o'neal you didn't have to do me like that sweetheart yo what is happening do nothing right away i doesn't go that far inside he fouls it off and then it's three nothing there we go we pop him up on the sinker inside we finally get our first out of the inning good pitch let's go two down Thank you. I, I'm surprised that wasn't a foul ball, honestly. All right, three nothing into the uh, bottom of the first we go. Oh my goodness, O'Neal Cruz. You dirty fucking dog, you. You dirty fucking dog, you. 111. I need to see 122 off the bat. Bro, what is going on? Lost connection with opponent. What is happening? Okay, I don't see why he would have closed the app on that, but we'll take the win. But of course, Randy Johnson loses energy. Fuck off game. All right, we're gonna jump into game two here shortly. All right, points could be V Solar FYZ. He's got Greg Maddox on the bump. Get the face of righty again. We got Espino on the bump for us. Our opener is a little bit tired, so let's get after it. Get by him. Beat it out. You got 99 speed. Nope, nothing. Got him. Good pitch. Just missed it. A little bit on top. Honestly, it's a ball, but it's kind of close to take. Kind of close to take. There we go. There we go. No doubt about that. When we go oppo taco to take a 1-0 lead. Let's keep it rolling. Get up the middle. I know Brian Roberts had a great defense. Thankfully, gets by him. Let's go. No, I did not just fucking push too far inside. Wow, I'm a bitch for that one. Oh my, Soto. Is I gonna get by the center fielder? I know he's got Riley Green out there. I'm gonna stay at first though. Stay at first. <sighs> All right. He's out. I'm not gonna say it was a bad inning, but not a great inning. I mean, we scored one run and we also had two hits, but we only came away with one run. Uh, swung at a couple, three pitches outside the zone in that last at bat. We, uh, we're not disciplined with Frank, and we also missed a cookie with Andrew McCutcheon that could have made it 3-0, but it is what it is. 1-0. Yeah, I'm not going to go to second with it. Too fast. Oh. Brian, Brian Roberts is too fast. Oh, my God. That is unfortunate. That was a perfect, perfect oh. fucking rip, but luckily O'Neal Cruz makes the play. And strike three. All right, we get out of it. No runs, one hit. We got seven, eight, nine coming up. So Babe is leading us off. Let's see if we can get the party started here with Babe. We had a decent inning last inning, three hits, but we didn't come away with any more runs but one. Dude, what am I doing? Oh my God. That's gotta be crushed. That's gonna be... Uh, uh, and strike three. 
Good piece. That was a great swing. That fastball was away and even a little bit off the plate. Babe Ruth, are you going to fucking put your glove out to get the ball? Holy shit. He's just fucking running after it like a lost puppy. There we go. One out. Ooh. Just missed, but you know what? You know what? It's a fly out. Oh, he's trying to go to third? I think we got him. Oh, we got him. Two perfect throws. We got him. Let's go. Don't try O'Neal Cruz. O'Neal Cruz with a swing and a massive drive again. Two nothing lead. How far was that one, coaches? 439. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's go. Basic. Come on. Let this be the hit party. Let's go. Let's make this the beginning. No! <sighs> wow. Yeah. I got on top of that. I mean, sh All right, we get one with Tonio Cruz, though. I thought that was gonna be a big inning. I'm not gonna lie. I really expected a big inning out of me there because I felt good. And then we go ahead and fuck it up with a double play and then we get on top of a changeup that we should have crushed with fucking McCutcheon. It's just, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm hoping I can figure out my PCI placement, but right now it is fucking so inconsistent and I'm getting really annoyed by it because we're seeing the ball so well. Got him. All right, didn't even move him over, let's go. Yeah, that time he wasn't late on it, but he was very late on a fastball inside and it's foul, a foul ball. He gets an extra opportunity, wasn't very late on that one. I then he can make that that adjustment to hit that fucking ball in the gap. He's out. So frustrating. It is so frustrating. All right, he got on top of that one though. Let's go. All right, let's go hit, man. Out. Two one into the uh, top of the fourth. There it is. Atta boy Soto. Great PCI. There we go, man. Come on. Nope, I'm late. Do you know why I'm late? Cause I'm ass. On the tag, out. That's the second time I hit that low and end fucking sinker with Mike Napoli. Perfect, perfect. That time we finally got a hit on it. Listen. Oh my God. Espino, Espino with the swing and a drive. Let's go. 5-1, what a swing. I was just fucking talking shit and we did it. Up the middle with a base hit. Let's go. Atta boy, O'Neal. He's three for four on the day. No way. I just jammed myself on that cutter. Oh, my God. I cannot believe I didn't turn on. I mean, first of all, I shouldn't be swinging at it because it's fucking, what was it, 2-1? or I think it was a 2-1 count. That pitch was off the zone. Secondly, if we are going to swing at a cutter inside on a 2-1, we can't get cheated and be late on it. Nonetheless, though, we take a 5-1 lead off Daniel Espino's fucking tater. Oh my god, he just missed that. I know how that feels because I've done that so many times on that change up away. Get just under it and it's an easy file to right field. Nonetheless, one out. Two, man. It's so easy to drop on that for some reason. Look at Frank Thomas showing off the hops. Let's go. Two down. And we jam him up on the fastball. Good inning out of Espino. Three up, three down. That's what he had confidence going into this inning because he hit the bomb. That's what it was and gave himself a 5 1 lead. And we can get going because George Brett is going to go oppo taco on the first pitch he sees in the inning. 6-1 lead. Here comes Andrew McCutcheon. There we go. Attaboy Cutch. Way to take that oppo. That's going to get over Cassiano's head. It's going to be a double. Let's go, baby. Fuck off. Suck a dick. I don't know. Whatever. That's my fucking second perfect, perfect out. We overcorrected and it stays... And it stayed fair, oh. very early. Three. Good pitch, I thought he was gonna clip the corner. All right, 6-1, what do we get? Only one run in the inning, and we had a, a bomb and then a double, but yeah, we had the perfect, perfect line out right at the third baseman. If it would've got over his head, that would've been a double and another run scored and had no out seven to one. I would've been feeling better instead of pissed off, but of course, it's not the way the cookie crumbles because that's the way this game goes. It works as intended. Oh, that one almost got out. Toto's going to make that play, though. Or he better make that play. All right. Good hit. Good hit. All right, let's see if we get this last inning out of him, though. 
Good two seamer. Let's go. Two down. There we go. All right, we get out of the inning. No runs, just yeah. one hit. 6-1 going into the top half of the sixth inning. Uh, we have a 6-1 lead, but I feel like we should've, we've should we've missed some pitches and also a couple of perfect, perfect outs this game. It just hasn't been, hasn't been, hasn't been as, as fun as it could be. Never mind, I lied. That's gonna be a bomb. Let's go, 7-1. Espino can hit. Look at Espino, he can hit. He's two for three on the day with a bomb and a double. Pitchers who rake, baby. No, I was, oh, I mean, I get a base hit on it, but that's a terrible swing. Late timing, what are we doing there? He's four for five though, but we should hit a bomb. I didn't want to like fucking turn on it and it'd be a foul ball. So that's why we're late, but hopefully we can get him up again as long as he doesn't quit. There it is. a boy. I mean, if you're gonna keep a position player in, we're just gonna fucking feast. 11-1. Is he actually gonna bring in a pitcher? He is gonna bring in a pitcher. Jorge Lopez. Okay, let's do a job. It don't matter that he brought in a pitcher that has outlier on the sinker because we're gonna turn on it for a no-doubter. We take a 12-1 lead. Soto, let's go, baby. 13-1. Come on, we need to hit a couple more hits. A few more hits. Right now we got six coming in, six, seven. Yeah, we gotta get a couple more hits. We get O'Neal Cruz, another at bat. Do not quit, don't do it. And he's out of here. O'Neal Cruz ends up three for four in this one with a bomb and uh, two runs scored in an RBI. Had that one bomb, or had that bomb. That He also had that leadoff bomb in the first game where we hit that perfect, perfect. And then the, my opponent was up three to one after we hit that bomb. And then I don't know if his internet went out or he, disc or he closed that. I really don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and say that his internet went out because why would you, you know, close that after being up three to one, even though we hit a perfect per bomb. We could have gone three straight outs and you still would have been up after the first inning. So I'm gonna go ahead and lean on the fact that his internet dropped, which is obviously unfortunate. I've had that happen plenty of times. It's a four for five overall in his uh, supercharged debut. I mean, 125 across the board, there's nothing better, right? There's nothing better. He's the best hitter right now in the game for these next 48 hours. So have him in your lineup, have fun with him until his supercharge runs out. That's what I'm gonna do. He's gonna be leading off for me and playing shortstop until then. But yeah, it's just, you know, O'Neal Cruz, you know, break the record and that's what happens. Break the, the exit velocity record. Hey, if they're gonna keep, that's, this is what they need to do at this point of the year. Supercharge these guys, man. Even for just good, like very good performances. Somebody that goes like three for four with two bombs or something like that and a double, just supercharge them, man. You haven't supercharged enough players this year. You were doing good at the beginning of the year and you've slowed down these supercharges. These supercharges are fun. You get to use these new players. Players that sometimes, you know, you're never gonna end up using because they're never gonna get these high tier cards. But if you supercharge them, especially at this point of the year, they're gonna be 99 overalls. Just supercharge them. Hopefully this is a great start to the rest of the year with supercharges. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on. Leave a like on the video. In the comment section below, let me know what you think about O'Neal Cruz's supercharge and if you're gonna be using them. I hope you are. And also let me know if you think SDS is, uh, Missed the mark on supercharging players. Lastly, make sure you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. All three links will be in the description below. So give me a follow three platforms. I would highly appreciate if you did. And make sure you go check out my shorts channel on YouTube, pitching underscore rebel shorts. Go check it out. The link to that channel will be in the description below. Hit the subscribe button. It's completely free, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.